All right, welcome to grammar book number two. We're going to be talking a lot about pronouns this quarter. The first thing we're going to be talking about are pronouns and antecedents. So please open your books to the pronouns and antecedents page. We're going to begin with the definition of a pronoun. A pronoun is a word used in place of a noun, and it may stand for four different things. A person, a place, a thing, or an idea. The first example, Bradley loves sushi and he loves rock sh shrimp. He is replacing Bradley. Shelley's favorite state is Montana because it is peaceful. It is talking about the state. He has tickets to the game and I want some. Some is referring to tickets. And our last one for idea, happiness is the best feeling in the world. There's nothing like it. And it is referring to happiness. A pronoun refers to or replaces is called its antecedent. Fact, pronouns refer to people, places, things, and ideas without renaming them. For example, you would not write, Sam likes Sam's dog because Sam's dog is playful. You would replace the underlined word or words with pronouns. Sam likes his dog because he is playful. Okay, we're on to the next section. Pronouns must agree with their antecedents in number, person, and gender. Let's talk about the number agreement first. Be sure to use singular pronouns to refer to a singular antecedent and a plural pronoun to refer to a plural antecedent. Look at the examples down below. One cupcake had chocolate for its filling. It's a singular, so is one cupcake. Students were expected to end their conversations. There is plural along with students. The store has 20 different flavors of ice cream, but I only tried a few. Few is talking about the different flavors. Okay, now we're going to talk about the person agreement. The person of the pronoun, first person, second person, and third person must be the same as the antecedent. For example, the first person, I told Jan my secret. My and I are both in first person. Second person example, you can finish the project in your room. Your and you are both second person. And then the third person example, Alex mows the lawn for his neighbor. His and Alex are both third person. Okay, now we're on to the gender agreement. The gender must be the same as its antecedent. Personal pronouns have three gender forms. Masculine, where we use he, him, or his. Feminine, where we use she, her, or hers. And neutral, its or its. Gender agreements, Mr. Johnson plants vegetables and flowers in his garden. His is talking about Mr. Johnson. Sarah loved her new school uniform. Her is talking about Sarah. When the class entered the room, they were prepared to learn. They is talking about the class. 